You made it into the level nine Google Classroom. Now what? We're starting off on the stream page. Let's take a look. The stream page is the equivalent to a homepage in social media, a place where I can post important announcements, letters, updates, and you can respond back to me. And we can communicate fairly quickly there. Anytime I put something new in classwork, it will also show up as an alert on the stream. Let's look at classwork. The first thing that you will see, and please keep in mind you're now viewing this page from my point of view and not a student perspective. So you're going to see what I'm seeing, which will look different from your page. First thing that you'll see is the level nine curriculum overview with an overview of the topics that will be discussed in level nine. Next, you will see the month's assignments. There will never be more than four assignments posted in any given month. We usually had one session per month, so you will see a session posted um, each month. And um, the assignments will be due the last day of the month and posted the first week of the month. Let's take a look at the assignments. Once you're in the assignments, you can tell me that you've gone through them by clicking turn in. And this is what it looks like on my side. I can see the people who have turned the assignments in. Within the link, there will be links to Bible readings, a video, and sometimes there will also be worksheets, exit tickets embedded within the lesson. Make sure you put your full name there answer the questions and hit submit. Your answers go to me to a Google spreadsheet where I can see that you uh, worked your way through the lesson. Let's go back to Google Classroom. So each month's assignments will be posted here. What else is important in this classroom? Well, the class survey topic is for my own benefit, so I know what you might be interested in, um, in posting videos, teaching videos in the future. Next is the required confirmation information form. I do need this, and I put a due date of October 31st on it. This information will ultimately go on the card that you will hand um, over when you uh, receive confirmation and you approach the bishop. Uh, for the sacrament. And so I need this information as soon as possible so that I can create your card. It's fairly easy. The next thing here, which is due January 4th, is a confirmation state name reflection project. Um, this project is important because it helps you to choose your confirmation saint name to learn more about your saint in the past, this was a writing section within the red folder um, that students were given, but I've made it all virtual. The next assignment is a confirmation sponsor reflection. Please tell me a little bit about your sponsor. It's due March 1st. Um, none of this is graded. Lastly is an optional confirmation service project um, please let me know what kind of service you were involved in. You can do a video, you can write about it. The lesson is here. Whenever I see a service opportunity, I will also list it in this section for you if you'd like to take part in that. Lastly, there's a section for you for your enrichment on how to use your Breakthrough Bible with videos, articles, anything that I can find about that. And then this section will have reviews on the sacraments. I will put one in for reconciliation eventually, but this is a review on the sacrament of how to receive communion. If you're feeling rusty, you feel uncomfortable approaching the Eucharistic minister, watch this video to brush up on what to do. So I hope this video is helpful to you in navigating the level nine Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please call me in the Faith Formation Office. Thanks.